Right, so um, what we're going to do this morning um, is run through our lesson similar to last week and we're going to make sure that there's time to over that Glissad Padaburi, which we've all been practising. Um, and we might also try our Ishaku Padaburi if my legs will hold out. So this morning was our first um, time trying a Rise and Shine dance workout for um, the students. So I've just been doing some African dancing and not sure my legs are going to hold out for the whole ballet lesson. I'm a bit jiggly now. Right, so just a quick reminder, especially for those who have been in a class before, to make sure you have plenty of space around you and that you're wearing clothes and shoes that you can dance safely and easily in. Um, at any time, if something becomes too difficult or too complicated, just take out the arms and just try the legs. Um, don't worry if you get stuck. You can use the chat down, um, well, on my screen, it's at the bottom. There's a little chat bar so you can ask questions if you need to. Um, when it comes to stretching, I will give options, but at no time should anything, well, throughout any of the class, be painful. Um, you might feel muscles working or stretching, but you shouldn't feel pain. Okay, pain is bad. So if you feel something hurt, stop. Have a think about where and why it hurts, and I can also, uh, you can ask me for advice if you need to. Okay, right, so let's get warmed up. Right, so we're going to start with our feet in first position. So it's just our heels together and our toes are looking out and just going to keep our knees soft for some sways. We're taking four sways side to side and just letting the arms swing. One and two and three and four. Then we're going to take two steps down on the right leg. One and two and three and four. We'll go again. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four. Step down and two and down. And two. So it's the same little exercise we've done for the last only, only four weeks. Last four weeks. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Two steps down. One, two, three, four. Step down. Same thing again, but we're just going to take it up a notch by adding in some arms. So as you step to the side, you're going to take the arm across in front of you and a huge wide circle. So what you want to do is make sure you don't end up in this position. So as the arm opens, we're really widening the shoulders out. One and two and three and four. Then we're going to pull the arms to the side and try and get them to swing around on this. So we're getting a little twist in our upper body. One and two. Change one and two. Four, then the little pushes. <clears throat> and one. to the side. One, two. Take that right across. Next warm up. Oh, I thought I just caught that. Next warm up exercise, just to get us moving a little bit more. We're counting at eight. I'm just going to come forward so I've got a bit more space. We're going to do eight little bends to our knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then eight springs. So you can either stay on the spot or move around whatever space you've got. And on these springs, we're going to pick the foot up at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we count in fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, someone's got a sound issue, I think. Here we go. So we're counting to eight, first of all. Ready? One, 
Ready? Eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, straight. Four. One, two, three, four. piece of music. So we're doing the same exercise again. On the springs, if you want to, you can add in a nice big port de bras. Okay. Here we go. Ready, eight, bend. One, two, three, four. Spring. Take the arms all the way around. Four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let us get yourself organized with a bar or a chair, whichever you're going to use as your bar. So I'll just get that there ready to go. <clears throat> right, so we're going to start with a little foot stretch. Again, the same as we've done the last two weeks. Um, so we've got first position, hands, both hands on your bar, whichever way you're facing. So it doesn't matter if you're side on to me. I'm just facing you because it's easier to see. So you're going to push your heel up and forwards. And what we're trying to do, stretch underneath your toes and the front of your foot. We've got push one and two and three, come down. Other leg, one and two and three, come down. Now we're going to, we'll just change these tondus a little bit. So instead of just going stretch and squeeze, we're going to go stretch, let me move so you can see my foot there, stretch, flex, point, squeeze, Stretch, flex, point, stretch, flex, point, stretch, flex, point. So the foot's moving up and down, so that's a flex. Okay, then we start again. One and two and three and down. Two and two and three and down. Stretch, flex, point, stretch, flex, point, stretch, flex, point, stretch, flex, point. Okay, so you're just getting the foot to move on the end a bit more. Right, here we go with some music. So first position, long sides, push with the heel. One, two, three, foot down. One, two, gonna stretch the leg to the side. Point, flex, point, point, flex. still using the same um, amount of music. When you flex, let me just move so my foot's not hidden by the bar, um, you're trying not to lift your leg, you're just moving your foot. Okay, so when you point, the toes should get back to the floor. Point, flex, point. It's only your foot going up and down. She says, waving her hand. Yeah, whatever. Okay, just try the other leg. So you stretch it out, keep the leg still, and you're just moving the foot on the end. Okay, so it needs quite a lot of strength in your sides to, to keep you there. It would be much easier just to kind of let everything go. Right, we're going on to our plies now. So we're going to warm up our hips. Now, I can't remember where the best place to have these was last week. I think it's about there. I've got such long arms. <laughs> right, so we've got first position. And we're starting with a demi-plie. So for, I think I recognise most of the names from... Um, some of the last sessions. So you've possibly all done the setting before. What we're thinking of is trying to keep our posture as straight as possible and keeping our pelvis sitting straight and not letting it tip forwards. So you know, I was, this, this is my position for African dance this morning. Okay, so we're trying to just keep that pelvis nice and straight 
as you bend. Okay, so we've got three demi plates. What, um, hang on, is it three demi plates? It's a plie and a rise. One, and stretch. You're going to skip the arm to first. Remember, first is just in front of your belly button. We're not going way up here. Stretch, and down, and two. Down, and up. So we're going to take three, but if you wanted to, for those of you who know what it is, you could take a full plie instead and just miss out the rise on the last one. And two, and three, and four, a little breathe. Scoop the arm forwards, tucking your chin in, all the way up. Open to second position, so it's a stretch with the foot, or down in second. So we've got one, and stretch, and rise. And two, down, and rise. Then third one, or a full plate, it's up to you. Third one, down, and rise, little breathe. Scoop. Take that leg to the side. Now you're going to close it in front of the other leg. So that's third position. So your heels, if you've got ballet shoes, it'll be in just where that seam is. We do the same thing again in third. After we've done our scoop, we're going to take that leg behind for the same thing again in third. Okay? So the, the option today, I'm going to demonstrate it with, with all the demi plies. But if you wanted to, on the third one, you could take um, one and two. While well, we're doing our rise, then you would do your corps de bras, okay? So if you're listening to that last part going, I have no idea what she's talking about, just copy me, because I'm not doing that version. Here we go, first position. It's nice and calm, shoulders down. Play, skip and rise. Third one, or full plie. So you go down for two, stretch for two, forward corner brass, scoop. Second, plie, rise. Position how we started. We take both arms down, long sides. Yeah, this is on a roll. So this, remember your arm position is nice and smooth. Okay. Right. Let's take that on the second side. Okay. So you can either turn to face the back. Lots of you all know the exercise by now. Or um, you can just swap hands if you've got something to hold on to on both sides. Demi plie, rise. Either all the way down and all the way up, or just the same as me. Skip. Second position.
either full plie or the third semi plie. Little breathe. Open. Back into first position. Bring the arms down. Long sides, both sides even. Hi, Junior. Junior's been joining in this morning as well. <laughs> Right, so we're going to go on to a little glissy, which is a point where a foot comes off the floor. I know, I know, we're all making a fuss of me. Yes, we are. You can go up on the chair. Good boy. Right, so we've got your third or fifth position, and in the introduction, we're going to take the arm out to the side. And we've got, poor chair, two Batman glissy to the front. Front, close, front, close, then three to second. And they change, it's alternate closing, so they change position each time they close. One, a two, a three to the back. One, close, two, close, one, a two, a three. Da ya da front, da 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 front, da da and a one, and two, and three. Da 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 back, da 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 back, and da da one, and two, and three. We've got it. Two to the front, three to the side, two to the back, and three to the side. You okay? Managed to escape through the window this morning, so he's, he's desperate to go back outside. <laughs> two to the front, one, two to the side, one, a two, a three, there he is, one, two, one, a two, a three, to the front. Try and get a really straight leg so the knee doesn't bend, the whole leg's going out in one unit. To the front, 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 side and two and three, there he is. Back, side. Keep, keep up really tight on that inner side. Three, one, a two, a three. Well done, I think the counter was good there. Can't see everyone's legs, unfortunately, but um, nobody looked like they were having a breakdown, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Let's go on the second side. So, um, just as I was saying, just watch, especially when it goes to the side, it doesn't start to flick. Okay, you want the whole leg to move out in one unit. Right, second side, front and front and side, a two, a three, da ya da back and back and side, a two, go. I really should stop singing at you, sorry. It's not good. <laughs> Ready to do one to the front, front, second side, derriere to the back, side, one and two and three, front banana, front banana, one and two and three, back, one, start again, front, front and one and two and three, derriere. To the back, side, and bring the arms down. Well done. Right, so we're going to go on to a developé, and a developé is a very slow, slow unfold move. Okay, so we've got our third or fifth position. In the introduction, we take a little breathe. Hopefully for me to get my breath back. So we're going to lift the knee up. One, and the arm to first. Then you're going to stretch the leg forwards, opening the arm. Two, so come, sorry, the counts are. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to stretch the leg down. Five, close six, and a little side port de bras. Seven, and eight. Then we start again, but we're going to extend to the side this time. One, two, open three, four, down, close the leg behind, and take your little side port de bras. Seven, and eight. So as you side port de bras, try and keep the leg still, okay, and move from your waist. Okay, then we're going to lift the leg up at the back, derriere. One, two. Now on this one, trying to keep a straight body, the leg won't be that high, that's fine. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, then just the same to the side. Billy yum, billy yum, billy yum, side. Then I've remembered today to give you a little advance warning. It's a little rise for the end. You can either just lift the heels, 
the feet are apart. Or you can draw that front foot in so that your, your legs are tight together. Okay? It's much harder to balance with the feet pulled in together. Excuse me. <coughs> with the feet pulled in together, you really need to hold on to your bottom muscles and your tummy muscles to hold you there. Okay? Right, let's go with the music. You okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Tell everyone. Breathe. I'm gonna pull the knee up for two. One, two. Stretch out for two. And two. Point down. Close. Take the arm over. Bring the leg up at the side. One, two. Open. One, two. Take the leg down. Close behind. And take the arm over. Bring the leg up behind. One, two, open. One, two, stretch down, close. Last one to second to the side, up. Two, open, two, down, close, close, vertebra. Now you're going to take the rise, either just lifting the heels or drawing the feet in together. Stay there. Oh, stay there. And then relax. Good. Well done. People that I can just see along the top stayed really still. Whether you're on rise or not, I don't know. I'm going to believe you're on rise. It's a really good balance. Well done. Right. Let's take that on the second side. Things to think about are you, as the leg stretches out from this retiri, this position is a retiri position, you want to keep your sides, the front of your back really still. So what we don't want to happen is to lean back, okay, or away from the leg. You also don't want to crunch towards the leg in either position either, okay? Sorry, this boy needs some love. You boy, you boy. You can go there and I'll go this way. Let's go with our music. Junior. And bring the leg up for two. Two. Open out for two. Down and close. And towards your bar. Gonna bring the leg up at the side. One. Two. Open for two. Down, keeping up on this inside. Then reach up to go over towards your bar. Bring the leg up at the back. One, two, open. One, two, down, close. And up for two, open. Two, stretch. Down, close in front, take the arm up and over, and then into a rise. Hold it there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't move, don't move. And relax, well done. You knew it was coming that time. So to hold that rise, you're pulling up underneath your bottom and trying to hold that tummy in as well. Okay, those are the two big muscle groups that are going to help you stay there. Everything's working, but those are the biggest ones. Right, you're on camera. Everyone can hear you being a wuss. Right, we're going to go on to our grand batmon. Okay, and a grand batmon is a kick. Okay. Right, so we've got our third or fifth position. We're going to take the arm out to the side. Now, if you want to, because um, we have done the exercise for a few weeks, you can change the arms. And when we work with the leg to the front, you can have the arm above your head in fifth position. When the leg's at the side, the arm would be at the side. And when the leg is at the back, the arm would be in arabesque. So we haven't done those arms for a while, but I'll mark it with those arms today. And if, you, if that, you're going, whoa, too much to remember, just keep the arm at the side. So on the instruction, either arm to the side or arm all the way up. We've got and a one and a two. 
and a three, take the leg behind. So the foot's gone behind, arm's going to come to the front, and this is an arabesque line. Derriere, and a one, and a two, and a three, lift the knee, take the arm to the side. Then we're going to take the, the kicks to the side. And a one, and a two, and a three, diddly up. Going to do a little crew, so pick up the back foot. Here's just little tiptoe steps. So swap hands so you can go on the second side, either using the arm there or taking the arm to fifth. And a one, and a two, and a three. Take the leg behind, arm forwards, or just move it in the side. And a one, and a two, and a three. Diddly arm to the side. And a one. And a two, and a three, diddly yum, kuru, diddly 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 yum, diddly dum. Okay, so don't be confused by the arms. If it does get, you can try them, but if it does become too much for your brain, you're starting to panic, just leave them in second because it's still using all those muscles in your back and your shoulders to hold them there. So, third or fifth, an introduction, either take them to the side or take the arm up. Okay, so I'm going to mark, demonstrate it with the arm options. Ready? Three to the front, and a one. Two, three, change arm and leg back. Two, three, leg to the side. One, two, three, and front two three take the leg behind one two three to the side one two three Career, silly dumps. Well done. so the only one that's tricky really with the arms because when we're kicking our leg to the front, this arm should be helping pull you up, is when the arm is at the front and leg at the back. And it's just difficult to get in that position because they're doing the opposite. This arm is at the front because it's going to help counterbalance that big weight going out the back, which is your leg levering up and down. Okay? So when you practice it, arm to the front, leg to the back. But like a, super, a bit of a Superman kind of idea. And that's called an arabesque. Okay, last one at the bar is our um, releves. So you can do this one facing the bar or sideways, depends how confident you are. So I'm going to demonstrate it facing the bar because I know my balance is poor. Don't we, Yeah, good boy. Right, so we're going to take your right leg in front and we're going to do a releve fifth. And a releve is just a sharp rise. It's really going to work your calf muscles not your arms, okay? So the fingers are just resting on your bar. So you're gonna squeeze up, then we're gonna lift this knee up, put it back on the rise position where it came from, then plie. So we've got four moves there. Squeeze up, lift the knee into fifth, plie. So we do that twice. Okay, so imagine we've done that twice. Then we're going to do two releve de bonds. We're going straight into the one leg position. Up and down, up and down. Then, then we're going to take that leg behind so that we can now use the other leg. So we go one, lift the knee and close, plie. Two, lift the knee and close, plie. Straight up, plie. Straight up, plie. Stretch to change your leg. So if going straight up onto the one leg is too hard, just take them with both feet there. So it just goes squeeze, plie. Okay, and don't worry about taking the leg off the ground. Right, so shoulders relax. Resist the temptation to take the weight onto their arms for this one. Here we go. I know we can hear you. Ready? And squeeze, up, down, plie. Squeeze. Now we're going straight up onto one leg, up, down, up. Take that leg to the side, put the 
other leg in front to start again. Squeeze, up, down, squeeze, squeeze. And then go up, squeeze down, up, down, stretch, close behind. Going to do it once more because it was good. Um, so the, the kind of dynamics for that one help. So when you're going up, it's a very strong, sharp move. Up, really quick, okay? Up, down. When you come down into the plie, rather than dropping down, that's not a sharp move. You kind of squeeze down, and the energy you build up in the plie is going to help you push back up again. A bit like, um, I don't know who's all in the class, but most of you should be <laughs> or as old as me and can remember, the little toys that you had, they had suckers on the bottom and little springs, and you pushed them down. It's quite hard to push them down, and then they clicked in, and then went pop, and they sprung up off the floor. Okay, so they're very sharp on the up, on the way down, there was that resistance of trying to push the spring down into the floor. So that's kind of what we're doing as well. So you've got squeeze, die up, and then squeeze down, sharp. Okay, or sharp onto one leg. So let's do it again. Try and get the squeeze on the way down and then the sharp on the way up. Ready? And sharp. Squeeze down, sharp. Then we're squeezing one leg. One leg. Stretch the leg to the side. Other leg and squeeze. Plie and squeeze. And straight up, down, up, down. Well done, sorry, I got confused between one leg and two. Right, so we're going to do a little stretch now. I'm just going to move that to the side. So we're going to start off without the bar and we'll do a little side stretch first of all. So we're going to reach up and over to the side and open. Lifting up before you go over. Now we're going to take a little sway with a twist. Just looking to the side, keeping the knees solid. Most of you have done this before. Forward port de bras. We've already done a little bit of the bar. Tuck your head in. Scoop your hands down. Lift up and open. Then we're just going to increase that bend. Curve the top of our back. Look towards your belly button. We're going to increase that bend a bit more to look towards your hips when we're curving your back. as far to the floor as you can. This is a really long stretch for your hamstrings at the back. Okay, so we do just your head and neck. Okay, look into your belly button. Look into your hips. So we're going to stretch our shoulders. This is going to stretch across your shoulders, your back, and into your hamstrings. Okay, so both hands are on your bar. Okay, you're going to walk back. You're aiming for a flat back, and you're going to push your shoulders to the floor. Okay, so I know some of you have had shoulder injuries or frozen shoulders. Just in this, just hope the best you can. What you can do is just either do it with one arm, or, keep, everyone stay there, but I'll just demonstrate. You can have a scarf or a stretchy band around your bar to give that sore arm just a little bit of a stretch. You can hold it as close to the bar or as far away as that needs to be. Okay? 
In this position, we're just going to curve up and then push down, arch your back and look towards the bar. Then curve up. And push down. And curve up. Push down. One more. And push down. Now try and find your flat back position and come back into the bar. Right, so we're going to work on our hips now. So pull your knee up towards your chest. Hold on with one hand or just hold your leg. Change legs. There's different options depending on your legs. So you can either just take hold of your trouser leg or hold of your foot. Or try and get our knees back in line with each other there. And a real pull up on the front of that hip. So if you've been doing a lot of sitting or a lot of walking, so walking actually builds up these muscles at the front, you might find that that muscle or your hips are quite tight. and take the other leg. So it doesn't matter how close to your bottom your foot is at the back, that makes no difference. Okay, it's all about stretching this flexor and muscle, big muscle at the front. position, but a little bit wider than we had earlier, and plie. So we're pushing the pelvis straight down that space in the middle, and we're just going to take a little rock side to side. Trying to just kind of ease yourself lower if you can. So now we're just going to lengthen that stretch to one side by taking a lunge and raising the toes on the other leg. And you can take that, that as wide as you like, because you can be away down here if you wanted to. Just so watch you don't slip. And change. Change. And just bring the feet back in together. So you're facing sideways to your bar. Um, you're going to take the, the foot straight back in a lunge. Stretch your calf. Front knee above your ankle. So to feel that stretch, you need to just take that back leg further out. Both toes facing towards your bar. Really pushing that heel back and towards the floor. Legs. So pushing that heel straight back. And if you don't feel the stretch in your calf, just take the position slightly wider and really push forward, but that knee shouldn't really go past your ankle. You don't overstretch. hamstring muscle underneath and your hip flexor at the same time. So if you're, you can do it without holding on if you wish, or if you're holding on to the bar, whichever hand you're holding on with is the leg you'll be standing on and the outside leg is the knee. Is that right? I think I've done that back to front. <laughs> Sorry. Inside leg goes back. Right, so you've got plenty of some balance. So. Knee over your ankle, hips towards the floor, 
reaching up and and open and in and open. So you should have a better balance this way, right? One more for luck. Again, you can do that without holding on if you wish. And come up. Other side, so you're, if you're holding on with your left hand, the left leg will go back. Okay. And we're taking the arm up and in. Ladies that normally have me on a Tuesday, um, yeah, you can see my brain isn't working any better <laughs> in this lockdown. Can't figure out my lefts and rights. One more. And come up. Okay, last one. Um, again, for those big muscles. You can either use the floor, a chair, or whatever surface you're using is your bar. So we're going to stretch that big muscle again at the back. Heel on the floor, sticking your bottom out. Now, um, I, I teach you that you should have your hands on the supporting leg rather than here, because then you're starting to put a bit of pressure on your knee, okay? Or you can have that leg a little higher, okay? Flexed or pointed and lean over here. Or you can have the leg even higher on your bar, okay, or the back of your chair. Just make sure it's something steady that you're not going to slip and stretch forward. So, first leg, whichever version you're doing, floor, halfway, or all way. Again, if you're very flexible, so I know I've got some students joining in, just give the leg a, a pull up and around. If you've got the leg high, try not to twist as you're coming down. Use your hand to give it a bit of support. Just that's where you could hurt yourself. Okay, let's go on to the other leg. Okay, so whichever version you want to do, I'll just do it this way. and make sure you're still breathing. Try not to hold your breath because you're concentrating. You've never heard me tell you that before. <laughs> and relax. Okay, give yourself a little shake off and move your bar away if you need to. And what you've got. Okay. So we are going to go on to um, our little balances, just to get us moving again after all that stretching. So it's four transfer of weight with the arms going third to third. Okay, and we're trying to keep that lovely big wide curve on our arms, like my, I don't know if I showed you last week, my fabulous Easter egg. So if you look at the lovely smooth edges before I smashed it and eat it, well, you can tell I've been eating quite a lot of chocolate in the holidays. <laughs> um, yeah, so that smooth curve is the, the same as the smooth curve we've got in our arms, but a giant Easter egg. Oh, it would be awesome. Here we go. So we've got one big long Easter egg arms, two and a three and a four, then a waltz step, which is a balance step, so it comes in behind, two and three and four. Then we're going to take the arms up to four, still maintaining that long curve. So we don't want, we don't want to crack that egg. One, and two, and three, and four. Balance five and six and seven. We're just going to do four of each. So if you know how to do that, just remember on the balance we should be getting to a fully stretched foot before we change feet. Okay. 
Now it's not it's not a really slow waltz, it's kind of a medium waltz. So you haven't got a long time to get that leg out. So think back to our bar where we did the bat mongoli, so you've got the leg moving quite quickly. Okay, here goes. First position. I'm gonna go that way first. Ready? Four transfer of weight first. One, two, three, four. Vowel C. So our wall. Two, three, four. Take the arm up. Two, three, four. Vowel C. Ready? We're going side to side. Arms to third. Balancing one, two, three. Really stretch that foot out. Take the arm up. Stretch one, two, three, one. Well done. Some lovely arms. Um, lovely curves showing and you're all, you're all teeny tiny squares on my screen but um, some lovely curves with the arms well done right so we're going to have a look now at our glissade parabouré while our brains are still fairly fresh okay so two steps in this first one is the glissade which is probably easier so we'll, we'll just go over the glissade first it's essentially a big step pose but it's a very low steps. So it's not an allegro, it's not a jump. So you take, let's come this side, take your right leg behind, then we can go with the right leg first. So you stretch your leg to the side, change feet, and then just squeeze this one close. So the whole thing is down. Okay, stretch and close. So it's big, step, close. And for this exercise, we're going towards the back leg. You could, they can be done with either leg and then you can be done closing in any position. We're going to use the back leg, right? So let's swap and put the left leg behind, these some trousers. Here we go. And, and close, and close, and close. Right. Okay, so we'll, we'll add the arms in because I think it kind of makes it look nicer. Arms are just held in that third position. If you are heading to the right, your right arm will be in front and you'll be looking to the right. We're going to do three. And one, and two, and three. Then we're just gonna cheat just now. Swap the foot over, swap the arm. And one, and two, and three. Swap. Okay, so let's do that with the music first. Then we'll, we'll add in the paddy I can sense that you've all been practicing. Well done. A good speed. Here we go. So right leg behind, looking to the right. And one, and two, and three, change. And one, and two, and three, change. And one, and two, and three, change. And one, two, three, change. See there? Right. That was that was fine. All got that. So it's just big step close. Now, we're going to do the paraburi. Paraburi means running steps. So it's in this exercise, it's quite quick when we join it together with other things. So I'm going to, you're going to have a, a bit, my most glamorous view. Right, so if you've got your um, right leg behind, I'm not sure if this is your right or left when you're looking at me in the camera, you're going to step behind, side, and then close that leg in front. Lift up the back foot. So again, it's a step where we're starting with the back foot. Behind, side, front. Behind, side, front. Behind, side, front. So that's the pattern it's making. If I forget about going on my toes, whatever, you're stepping a kind of a cross, first of all, to push yourself back to where you came from. Behind, side, front. Okay. So let's join that together with the, with the glissades. Let's just do two glissades so we can take the paddy very slow. And then, then today I'm going to challenge a wee bit and we're going to do three. But let's just do two. So we're going to go. And one. And two. Pick up the leg you've used. 
go back to where you came from and the hands swap over. Okay, and one and two behind side front. If the arms get confusing, just take them out of the equation. And one and two, one, two, three. And one and two behind side front. Okay, so you can take the arms third to third or you can just leave them out the way. It's up to you. I'll do it with the arms because I find it easier. Um, so two glissad and then a padiburi. We just use the same music because it's quite nice and steady. Ready and and close and close behind side front and close close behind side front. We're going again. I'll face the other way though. Place sad, place sad behind side front. going to do three glissades and then a paraburi, which doesn't sound like it's a lot different, but it gives you less time for the paraburi. So instead of the paraburi being kind of a walk, it's very much a run. So think of it, it goes glissade, 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 run, run, run. Okay, so the foot's still going behind, side, front, but think of it as three runs because you need to move quickly. So let's have a, let's have a wee practice behind the scenes first of all. Ready, and, and one, and two, and three, change your feet. And one, and two, and three, one, two, three. So I'm just trying to get so my feet stay in camera shot. Right, so I'm gonna do the tiniest glissades. You might be able to travel a bit more than me, I'm not sure. Um, I've got kind of very narrow space. Here we go. Ah, one, ah, two, ah, three, ta, ta, ta. Here. And one, and two, and three, ta, ta, ta. And one, two, three, one, two, three. And one, and two, and three, one, two, three. Two, same again. And one, and two, and three, one, two, three. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Last one. Right, it's a little bit trickier for the paraburi, especially, yourself again, especially if for whatever reason you get the wrong leg. Um, one reason it might sometimes go wrong is because you've done, well, it's just the right. Right, right, right. You get your right leg ready, but your brain thinks because you're using the right leg, you want to keep going that way. And the first step has to go back to where you are coming from, okay? Right. Oh, we've just got enough time for a little jump. How good is that? <laughs> right, so let's do, we'll miss out the easy one. We'll do the kind of middly one. Okay, so we're going to use each of our positions, but instead of three bends and a jump, we'll do three jumps and a plie. Okay, wish my legs luck today. So you can either keep your arms in brava, that Easter egg shape, or take them onto your waist. That Easter egg probably won't be there next week, so. Just remember what it looked like. So we have and a one and a two and a three rest and a one and a two and a three rest and a one and a two and a three and rest four times through. Then we're going to cheat and just take it into first three jumps or sautés and a rest. Then I'll have to restart the music three in second and then third. On the ones in third, same as usual because it's just a kind of a warm up jump. You can either keep the same leg in front. Or you can change feet each time. Whichever one you're doing, just try and be careful, especially if you've got a little heel on your shoes that you don't land on yourself. Try and be aware of where your feet are when we're going up and down. Also, at any time, if um, the jumping gets too hard for you, either aerobically or just for your legs, just take it back into the bends. Okay, you're working the same muscles, just not quite as hard. So we're going to start in parallel. Arms in bravo. Good luck to me more than anyone else. Right, let me just remember what leg row this is. I think it might be this one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last set. Now we're going to first position. Knees out over your toes. So the knees are very soft when you land. Second position. Now, on this one, really careful the knees are going out. Third position. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well done. Give yourself a little shake off. Right, we're not going to do any big jumps today. We're going to just have a little cool down and stretch. So first position, see the arms open. We're going to start our reverence by reaching to the floor as far as you can. Scoop up, that's our forward port de bras. One more. Let's take a sway and a little twist. Use this time to take nice deep breaths. Get the oxygen back into you. We're going to leave the feet in second position and come up and over and open. Okay, take your right leg behind. Step to the side. Let's take a huge curtsy today. Crowd going wild. Thank you. And the other side. Then we'll take first position. Bring the arms down. Keep those long sides. Stay there because I'm just going to stop. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Feel that long, long line at the back of your neck, out through your head. And try and hold that through the day. So you will need to breathe at some point. And relax. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much again for joining me online. I can't wait to see you all again in person. Um, it feels really weird just talking to a screen. Um, so you can ask me questions or answer down here. Um, so um, I was just going to ask, um, you, can, you can send me an email later or, or a message to the Valley School. Um, at the mo moment, the, the last three we've done online, I've then uploaded to our YouTube channel so you could watch them again. So the lessons are quite similar as we go along for the first um, six or seven weeks. Then I'll, I'll do a new lesson plan in a few weeks if we still have to. Um, so let me know if you would like me to um, let me know if you would like me to upload this one to YouTube as well if that's useful. So you can do it at any time. Um, rather than just this time on the Tuesday morning. Okay, um, Sue, is Rise and Shine very difficult? It was for me this morning. It was our first one this morning. Um, and I did African dancing, which was quite high impact, but you could, well, it was lots of bouncing. Okay, nearly killed me. Um, but you, you, you don't need to take it with all the bouncing. So it's, it's kind of for all age groups. So it's not going to be difficult. We're going to have a different teacher each day for Rise and Shine. So some... Some days might be more intense, some days might be more, because the next one I do, I'm definitely going to do a little bit more yoga inspired rather than African inspired. So um, you can always, it's on YouTube live, so it's quite easy to go in and go, hmm, not sure about this and disappear. Okay, nobody would be offended because they won't know you're there. Okay, um, good idea to have on YouTube. Right, okay, I'll do that then. Um, just because we're doing more classes online um, from this week, um, I can't store everything in the cloud, so I can't save the recordings because there's just too much. Um, so I'll get that uploaded to YouTube. Right, Anne? I shall do that for you both. Um, also, if you have a look on our website, um, our, our regular classes, um, for most of you, um, kind of a ballet class round about grade three, four level is similar to what we're doing in class. In, in our adult ballet class, you're welcome to join in any of those classes as long as you have your name on your camera, which you all do. So I know who you are, and I'm not going, hmm, strangers. Um, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me again this morning. Okay, lovely to see you. Okay, I'll get that recorded. So thank you very much.
，OK， 拜。